What is going on everybody? My name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another tutorial. So in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add face cam to gameplay videos exactly like this. So if you are wanting to add face cam to your videos and make them a bit more interesting for your viewers, stick around for this tutorial and I'll show you exactly how to do that in Vegas Pro 17. Okay, so jumping straight into Vegas Pro 17, the first thing you're going to want to do is import your media. Now, I'm going to assume you already know how to record your face cam and you know how to record your gameplay. This is purely a tutorial on how to edit the face cam in Vegas Pro 17. So you can see here that I've got the face cam footage and I've got some example gameplay footage which I did not record myself. I did just get this off the internet so it is just someone playing Minecraft um, and I'm just going to be using that as an example for the gameplay. Now I'm going to select these two and import them into my project. Now the first thing I'm going to do is actually drag the gameplay footage onto the video. And you can see here I get an option, do you want to set your project video settings to match this media? I'm just going to click yes. And then what I'm going to do is right click down here and insert video track. This is where we're going to place the face cam. So I'm going to drag my face cam down here. Now you can see it is a lot shorter because like I said, the actual footage, the gameplay footage is off the internet. So what I'm going to do is just split the gameplay clip using the S button and then just delete the end of it so we can zoom in and it's a bit easier to work with. Now the first thing you're going to want to do in this scenario is sync up your video and your gameplay. Um, now often what I used to do when I'd make gameplay videos is I would move my mouse on the screen while saying what I was doing with the mouse because if you look here you can see that the audio for the face cam is linked with the face cam so the voice and then we've got the actual video of course of the gameplay so what you could do is something like this where you go left right up down left right or something basic like that so then when you see it happening in the video you can align it to when you're saying it in the audio clip or if you want you can record your audio as well your microphone through the gameplay footage and then all you have to do is clap a couple times and then sync up where you see the spikes on the audio track. So let's just say for now our face cam and our gameplay footage is synced up so all of my reactions will be at the correct time and stuff like that. The first thing we're going to do is actually look for the start of the video. So I believe it is on this little bit of audio here is where I start. What is going on everybody? My name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another tutorial which it is, so that's when I'm going to cut the video. So at the start, I'm actually going to zoom out the track height just so I can see a bit better. And then not clicking on any tracks, but making sure the cursor is in line just before I start speaking. I'm going to press S and that's going to cut all of these clips here. Then I'm going to delete the gameplay. I'm going to delete the face cam and that is the start of the clip. Now just to make sure we're going to move them to the very start of the timeline just by clicking and dragging it. And then if we click play, It does start straight away with me talking. So now that we've actually got the face cam and the gameplay footage synced up, we're going to actually get to work creating the face cam effect and having the face cam in the corner. So on your face cam footage, the track at the top, you're going to click on the three bars here, which says more. You can then choose track motion. And for some reason, mine's really small, so I'm just gonna <laughs> open that up a bit. Uh, there we go. And what we're going to do, we are going to make sure this little cursor is enabled. So if it's off, you'll see there is no highlight around it. But then if it's on, you'll see there is highlight around it. You're then going to move the cursor to the very start of the video. And what you can do is grab this top corner. And if you start to shrink it, you'll see that the face cam footage is actually shrinking over here. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to move it up to the corner, as you can see, just like that. I think the face cam itself should be a bit smaller, but one thing I don't like is how zoomed out it seems. So to fix this, we're then going to go onto the video track itself. And you'll have to look at the very end of the video clip. So we can see here. Yeah. You're going to want to click the event pan and crop, and this will open up another window. And this will just let you crop it a little bit so you can zoom in a bit more on your face. So let's say like that. And then that looks zoomed in enough. If we go back to the start of the video now and hit play. What is going on everybody? My name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another tutorial. So we can see it is in the corner. Now there are some adjustments I'm going to do throughout this. So I'm just going to explain it as I'm going. But this is the basic idea of how to get a face cam working 
in Vegas Pro. Now next what I'm going to do is actually cut the clips down so we only have the part where I'm talking and we'll get rid of all the stuff that isn't needed. And to do this I'm just going to use the same tool I did before where I press S to split the clip and then delete the parts I don't need. So I'll remove this bit where I'm just rubbing my nose and then cut it just before I start talking again. Delete the two clips and move them back along. And we'll do the same again. You can see there's a couple times I actually messed up. Um, so we'll just continue on to when it actually started. So yeah, that's when I'm going to cut it and just when I cover the camera as well. Now we'll delete this big section in the middle where I kept making a lot of mistakes and we're just going to squish everything along and then get rid of this last little bit. Now if we play this once again, so just put our cursor at the start, press space, we can play. We'll just put it back to the start and press space so we can play. So, as you can see, that does look very nice. We've got the face cam in the corner, and there is one last thing I'm going to change. I don't actually want the face cam to be in the corner at the start of the video. I want it to be full screen, so it's just my face, and then when I say this, that's when it's going to go into the face cam view. So, just opening this track motion window again. Now, I already have it open, but once again, to open it, you just go to the three lines over here and click on track motion. It'll then bring up this window. Now, making sure you've got the sync cursor selected, we're first going to go to that original keyframe at the start of the clip. You can either move it down at the bottom or you can move it at the top. It doesn't matter um, as long as you've got that first keyframe selected. I'm going to right click on the square and just click restore box and that'll just put it full screen again. Now, I'm going to go to where I want it to actually change into the face cam right here as you can see that's where I say this and I'm going to create a keyframe just before I want it to change so there we go that means between that first keyframe and the second keyframe it's going to stay full screen now if I go a few frames ahead to when I've finished saying this just using the arrow keys to about here then position the face cam you'll see it does actually make a new keyframe it's quite hard to see because we are zoomed out so i'm just going to zoom in and you can see that there are two keyframes quite close we'll position this in the corner like so and then if we start the clip again you'll see that the clip is actually full screen the face cam is full screen up until the point where i say this and then it'll shrink down into the normal face cam that we all know. What is going on everybody? My name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another tutorial. So in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add face cam to gameplay videos exactly like this. So if you are wanting to add face cam to your videos and make them a bit more interesting for your viewers, stick around for this tutorial and I'll show you exactly how to do that in Vegas Pro 17. And that's it guys, that's how you add face cam in Vegas Pro 17. Um, as you can see, it's quite easy to move the actual face cam around the screen. If you did want to have it somewhere random on the screen, you can. You can do little animations, spin it round, have a mess around, have a play. And you can see that just with these few basic tools of the keyframes and being able to move the face cam, rotate it, scale it, there are quite a lot of things you can do. Um, so just have a mess around, practice these tools. I hope this is enough to get you started. If you did find this tutorial helpful at any point, then please leave a like down below. I'd really appreciate it. If you'd like to see more tutorials in the future, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, if there are any tutorials you would like to see in particular, then just comment them down below and I'll get to work making them. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial of whatever I make. Bye.